Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Flying with Overkill F-16C Viper for DCS World and today we're going to be taking a look at the AGM-88C Harm High Speed Anti-Radiation Missile. The Harm missile is used as an uh, air to surface strike against radar emitting targets such as search radars, targeting radars, and early warning uh, systems. And today we're going to take a look at how to configure it, how to tweak it a little bit to our benefit, and then um, go ahead and figure out how to employ it. All right. So first thing as always, let's go ahead and get into an active pause, that way we don't burn up too much time here. On the left DDI, we're going to go to a weapon, or MFD I should say, and actually, excuse me, air to ground mode, good place to start. We'll power on the AGM-88 here, then set this over to the weapon page, and we get the harm display page. Now, before we get moving any further, let's talk about what the harm display page is and how to navigate around it. I will not be going over every single feature, um, but more um, just the what is currently implemented and available to us in the sim. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is talk about the left side here. These are all of the current threats on the currently selected table. Um, we are in what's called HAS mode, which harm as sensor is what that stands for, meaning that there are no external sensors on the aircraft that are currently being used to track targets. Okay, everything is being done by the harm uh, seeker head itself. Okay, now the harm by default has three different tables that you can search from. Right now, um, the harm is only searching for any targets or emitters that are on the specific table. So anything outside of these selected emitters will not be detected by the harm. You can cycle between the three default tables that are currently available. Okay, um, if you have the, um, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. But if you have access to the internet, obviously, if you're watching this, you can go to the uh, link that I have in the description, which will take you to Chuck's F-16 tutorial guide. Um, it's extremely handy. And what I wanted to show you guys in it is on the page above where I just was. This guy here break, gives you a table of all of the emitters that are currently available for uh, configuration. Um, so here we have, you can see that we have tables 1, 2, and 3 by default that are currently on the uh, selected system. Um, and then um, WAGS also posted a list on his video that I will have in the link in the description as well um, of the full um, list of table identifiers, which we'll go over in just a minute. Okay. So then you have your wide uh, field of view currently selected as 120 degrees of field of view out in front of the uh, seeker head of the missile. You have center, which I believe is a 40 degree uh, azimuth off the center. Everything from the left side, everything from the right side. And then back to wide. Search, this is a filtering option. If you know that the only thing out there is an SA-10, for example, you can disable everything else, go back into has, and um, now the 10 is the only thing that it will search for. Now the other very handy thing here is that it will reduce the amount of time it takes for the harm to complete its search, as the harm will search for one item at a time and then move down to the next. Here you have the current estimated time until search is complete, so there's 17 seconds, and here's the total number of times the um, search has been completed. So you can always come over here and reset the search if for any reason, and you can see that the count has then increased. UFC we're not going to worry about today, as there's nothing um, that we're going to be too concerned with at the moment. All right. Obviously, you still need to make sure you hit DMS down to make this your sensor of interest, which is indicated by the white box as any other display. And now, before we start looking to employ on targets, let's go ahead and take a look at how to edit a table. So we're gonna go ahead and come up here to the UFC and DED. First thing we're gonna do is select a list and obviously make sure we're always in air to ground mode when doing this. Select zero, zero again for harm. You can see table one is currently selected. Using the bottom rocker, we can adjust what table that we're currently on. Now we want to adjust table three as it's going to be the most efficient for what we currently have out here. If we go to our F10 map and see what our targets available are, let me move it on up. We should have an SA6 over here. So yep, there's the SA6, an SA3, and then down over here, here let me find you a better one. There we go. SA-3, and then finally out here is the SA-10. Okay, so let's go ahead and get make this a little bit easier for us to use. Now what we want to do is we want to make 
all three of those targets on the same table. Right now the SA-10 is on table 1, and the 3 and the 6 are on table 3. Okay, now if we use simple, something as simple as the reference guide that Chuck gave us here, we can see the 6 here, okay, is number 108, and the 3 is 123. Okay, if we want to make the 10, you can see the ID is 110. So what we're going to do here, let's move this guy back off, is now we're going to simply change, let's go down to number 2 here, oops, wrong button, back up table 3, and use the dauber down, and we're going to change 122 to 110, so 110, enter, okay, and you can do this with any of the three tables, go to return, let's go back down to our display page, and if we move to table 3, we now see we have the 3, the 10, and the 6. We can go to the search and disable the 2 and the 13, as none of them are out there to increase our search or decrease our search time. But we now still have one minute that's going to take for that to uh, take effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to employ the missile. All right. So we'll go ahead and reset my camera here. There we go. Let's come out of the active pause and start pressing towards our targets. Now, something to be concerned about here, while we're talking about this for a second, is notice that on table one, we have the 10, the BB, and the CS. This is a search radar, a track radar, and I believe this is the targeting radar. But these all, th these first three are all part of the SA-10 system, so it's important to remember that. Something if more effective might have been to make this the three and the six and use the entire table, but then you have a longer search. So by using table three, what I've done here is the SA-10, want is just the targeting radar but by the time this lights up it's not going to be long until I'm fired on so I have to be ready for that so now it's just a matter of playing cat and mouse and waiting for one of the emitters to come alive When an emitter is detected, it will appear in this green box as well, with up to five tracks possible. Let's see where we are in relationship. We're getting close. Speed up time a bit. See, there's that SA-10 search radar right there. All right. So what we've got here is we've got the six. Okay, so this is the SA-6 that has now gone active, and you can tell it's active by the A. Now, active just means that the radar is turned on. If once it locks us up, you will see the A turn into a T, which means you're being tracked. So you have A and T, active and tracked. Okay. So keep those in mind. So what we're going to do now, the harm is our sensor of interest. We're going to move our TDC over it. TMS up. What you're always looking for is this ready right here. It indicates that you the handoff is complete. We can now unpause. And using the gun trigger. Did you come off the rails? Nope. Oh, sorry. Weapons release. Not guns trigger. I, no wonder why. I don't know why I was saying that. Okay, and at this point, we'll go ahead and spin off here. Uh, let's go. So that. And let's track our missile. Now, what you can't always account for with the harm. Okay, there are plenty of SA systems uh, that can shoot down a harm. Okay, I believe the SA-10 is actually one of them that can shoot down a harm. Um, the SA-15, the TOR, can shoot down a harm. Um, the, there's a couple of them. Is that the TOR? I might think of the Tunguska. Tunguska, I think. But anyway, so what we're going to guarantee here is that the missile has tracked it. But now we'll see if we actually make contact. So there's the weapon system right there. You guys can sort of see it there. Well, looks like we're going to get him. 
boom and there's the radar destroyed all right so pretty easy to employ it really is it's really not a bad configuration so let's go ahead we'll come out of autopilot let's try that one more time let's turn back towards the target area I don't know why I went completely around the other direction, but hey, you know why I did it? So we could get a cool flyby view. That's why I did it. I love flyby views, I really do. I'm sort of obsessed with them. Alright, so let's bring it back around. Now, perfect example, and now this is obviously completely based on your situational awareness and the aspect of intel and what you know is out there, but so I know for a fact the SA-6 um, was the only one out there. Okay, we've crippled the search radar for it. So what I'm going to do now is to increase my or decrease my scan time. I'm going to go to search and take the SA-6 out. Now we're just looking for the 10 and the 3. But be cautious doing that. You better You better know what's out there before you start shutting things off. Let's trim the aircraft out a little bit. That harm is a heavy missile. And let's get our autopilot going again. And now we're just going to watch again for a minute. Where are we? Mm. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to select the right side I think I'm actually gonna come right a little bit Let's see what kind of angle we have here. There we go. Maybe a little high up for the SA-3 to find us. Alright, well, you know what? Let's make ourselves a more tempting target. Doesn't get much prettier than this. Let's move back to the center. And since we're actually focusing on the three, let's take the ten out. Arm or Magnum. So you guys see what I did there, hopefully. Boom, gotcha too. Right in time. So, all I did was just like we did before, I just did it a bit faster. When the missile shot, I was able to see the trailer, turned it and pointed the harm right at it. I picked it up pretty quickly. Used my TDC cursor, slewed it over the 3A that we saw. Actually, it was 3T, I think is what we were looking at. Um, did a TMS up, waited it for it to say ready right here. Weapons release button, magnum. Weapon one's off. One SA-3, one SA-6 out of commission 
So that's pretty much it for the harm in uh, HAS mode or harm as secret mode. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as always. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Questions and comments down in the fields below. I'll be happy to go over anything again that I need to. It really doesn't bother me at all. So please make sure you guys are asking questions when necessary. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay healthy, folks. Bye-bye.